Uh, now, Congressman Frank Lobiondo has called this government shutdown unacceptable. He joins us now on the phone. Congressman, give me a sense of where things stand today. What are you seeing from, from your fellow Republicans? What are you seeing uh, within the halls of government? Well, it's, it is, uh, you quoted me accurately. It is unacceptable, and it's not a good situation. And I'm, I'm very disturbed and, and pretty angry that there does not appear to be uh, a conclusion, a successful conclusion, at least within sight at this point. And um, there are a bunch of us who are working behind the scenes uh, to try to find uh, some way to get a result. Now, there are, there are multiple ways to get a good result. Um, I opt for any one of them that gets this problem fixed. So even though you voted to defund and you did vote also to delay Obamacare, are you saying to the uh, to the listeners here, to the voters in your district, that you would also support a, a, what they call a, a clean resolution to just uh, fund government to keep things going and, and live to fight another day over Obamacare? Uh, if, if that's the vote that comes up, yes, absolutely. And just to be clear, um, you know, some of the stuff we brought up on Obamacare is pretty popular, or at least with my constituents. The idea that the president and his cabinet and Congress live under the same law that the rest of the people in the country have to, uh, that's not too radical. And, you know, I pay for my own health care and always have. The taxpayers never had, so it doesn't affect me. But when you talk to people out there, they find it pretty outrageous that Congress and the president and his cabinet don't have to live under the same law. So, Congressman, if I get you correctly, while, while there is there might be, in your opinion, good reason to criticize some elements of your party that have decided to take this fight in this direction. There's also plenty of room to criticize the president and the Democratic leadership? Oh, ab absolutely. I mean, it takes three to solve this problem. Republicans clearly have, uh, have internal issues that have, have caused some trouble. But when you have the president of the United States, um, who did not call the leaders of Congress down to the White House until 5.30 this afternoon, this is the first call. The government's been shut down for two days. I mean, where's the leadership of the president other than calling the speaker and to say, I'm just calling to tell you that there's nothing to talk about. You have to accept what I'm offering. And how about Harry Reid, who refuses to even sit down until today, refuses to even sit down and discuss anything. So the idea of the president's compromise is that Republicans give him everything he wants, and we don't even get to talk about things we think are important. Now, that's, that's not a way to get to a solution. Uh, one last question, Congressman, to those who say, uh, the heck with, with all of you, that we, we just can't count on Congress, we can't count on our government anymore. What do you say to them? Well, that, that's tough. I mean, the congressional approval rating is at probably all-time lows for good reason. So I would just have to ask people to look at their own member of Congress, uh, look carefully at what their record is and what they're supporting and what they're opposing, and then make their decision. And this is America, and we have to abide by that. Congressman Lobiondo, always a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming on the program, sir. Thank you.